In this video, you are going to learn how to calculate the quantity of cement, sand and aggregates in one cubic meter concrete. The method in this video is so simple and I break it down into a step-by-step -step guide that can clearly be understood by everyone. So be sure to watch this video till the end because you don't want to miss this. Considering a footing of 1 meter for both sides and 1 meter for the depth, meaning the total volume here is 1 meter cubed. Considering mix ratio of 1, 2 to 4, that is 1 part of cement, 2 parts of sand and 4 parts of aggregates, the total ratio here is 7. When finding out cement, sand and aggregates quantity required for 1 cubic meter, you have to first note down their densities. Considering density of cement to be 1440 kg per meter cubed, density of sand as 1600 kg per meter cubed and density of aggregates as 2400 kg per meter cubed. Also note that the density of plain cast concrete is 2300 kg per meter cubed. The density of plain cast concrete ranges from 2200 to 2500 kg per meter cubed and on average we consider 2300. You also have to note down that the weight of one bag of cement is 50 kilograms and also the volume of one bag of cement is 0.035 cubic meters. There are two methods of finding out the quantity of materials required. One, the method of dry volume and the method of total weight or dry density. Let's first use the method of dry volume. With the method of dry volume, you make sure that you separate the total volume of concrete into individual volumes of cement, sand and aggregates. In simple terms, you have the total volume as 1 cubic meter and you are trying to find out the volume of cement separately, sand separately, aggregates separately and this is so simple. You have to keep in mind that 1 cubic meter is a weight volume. Wet volume is a mixture with water, whereas dry volume is a mixture without water. And what we purchase is called dry volume. So how do you change wet volume into dry volume? We change wet volume into dry volume by simply saying that dry volume is equal to 1.54 multiplied by wet volume. Consider 1.54 as a constant, therefore for this case, Dry volume is equal to 1.54 multiplied by 1 cubic meter to get 1.54 cubic meters of dry volume. This is the total volume before adding water and the task now is to get cement separately, sand separately, aggregate separately and this is so easy. Sum of ratios is equal to cement plus sand plus aggregates. 1 plus 2 plus 4 is equal to 7. Volume of cement in the mixture is equal to dry volume divided by sum of ratios multiplied by the ratio of cement which is equal to 1.54 divided by 7 multiplied by 1 to get 0.22 meters cubed. Number of bags of cement required is equal to volume of cement for the whole mixture divided by volume of one bag of cement which is equal to 0.22 meters cubed divided by 0.035 meters cubed to get 6.3 which is equivalent to 7 bags of cement. When using the total weight or density method, total weight of concrete is equal to volume multiplied by density, 1 meters cubed multiplied by 2300 kilograms per meters cubed to get 2300 kilograms. Weight of cement alone in the mixture is equal to total weight of concrete divided by sum of ratios multiplied by the ratio of cement which is equal to 2300 kilograms divided by 7 multiplied by 1 to get 328.57 kilograms. Remember one bag of cement is equal to 50 kilograms. Therefore the total weight of cement in the whole mixture divided by the weight of one bag of cement we get 6.6 .6 bags of cement which is equivalent to 7 bags of cement. They all give us the same answer and from the two methods you can clearly see that the method of total weight or total density gives us a slightly higher figure and that simply means that it's more appropriate. To find out the quantity of sand required, you can still use the two methods. With the first method, after inserting the required values, you get the volume of sand as 0.44 cubic meters. And then with the second method, weight of sand is equal to total weight of concrete Divide by the total ratio multiplied by the ratio of sand to get 658 kilograms of sand. 
To find out the quantity of aggregates required, we follow the same procedures. Volume of aggregates here is equal to total dry volume divided by sum of ratios multiplied by the ratio of aggregates, which is equal to 1.54 divided by 7 multiplied by 4 to get 0.88 cubic meters of aggregates. Or you can say, total weight of concrete divided by the total ratio multiplied by the ratio of aggregates, that is, 2300 kilograms divided by 7 multiplied by 4 to get 1315 kilograms of aggregates, which is the same as 1.315 tons. In summary, for 1 cubic meter concrete of mixed ratio 1, 2 to 4, you need 6.6 .6 bags of cement, which is equivalent to 7 bags of cement, 0.658 tons of sand and 1.315 tons of aggregates. You can use the same procedures as we have done in this video to work out even for other mix ratios. That's all about how to calculate cement, sand and aggregates quantity in one cubic meter. I hope you get something from it. Watch this next video about how to calculate the number of paper blocks required for a given area. Thank you so much for watching.